was going to get a, I was going to get that recorder I've been mentioning all for the past, I don't know how many weeks, but um, then my taxes, not my taxes, but I got hit with these taxes, like random ones. So that's out the window. I have to find a new job now. So that's nice. Yeah, I heard about that. sucks though because i think it's kind of too late for summer jobs never too late yeah i have to look but it's just kind of a pain in the ass because i don't know i don't want to work in a restaurant again because for eight years working at a restaurant you know kind of just like get tired of it but i hear you man i might have to for a bit at least until i can find something else cool cool yeah this thing's probably like going to kick off by fucking skipping what is going on everybody it's the f word podcast uh brought to you by us me and anthony are in the house we are right back. now we are back it's just the two of us. Um, my uh, Vass is out of town, and I'll be joining him tomorrow. He's uh, he's cool. we're both going to a wedding this weekend, but he went up earlier because he's got some friends that live out of town. So uh, that, and then Nick is a dad, and you know, dad life is real hard, real difficult. I'd assume. Yeah, sorry, we both would assume. Yes, um, yeah. I hope everyone's doing great. I hope you're having a good weekend. Whenever you're listening to this, um, from all the places, and um, we were this live show is probably going to be a little bit more low key because the Raptors are in Game Four mm-hmm. or something like that. I think, no, I think Game Six is it Game Six already. Yes, because I think next Shit. if they lose, it's Game Seven, and that's it. Yeah. So I mean, we're going live, but for those of you listening, really doesn't matter. So hopefully, when you're listening to this, the Raptors win. Because we won't know. We might know after the thing when we're done, depending on when we're done. I think we should know. Actually, no. Jesse said it's supposed to end at 9.30. Okay. So, yeah, no. Okay. Is he ever going to quit uh, uh, no. EB Games? No. No? If he ever does quit, I want to have a sit down with him and talk about it. Because I found some videos on oh, YouTube. Oh, I'm sure he would like, still do it, even if he like was still working there. You think so? Oh, I'll ask him, yeah. It'd be, I'd be curious to know, because, again, there's a lot of videos on YouTube mm-hmm. of how, how shitty... Well, that's GameStop now. I, I don't know how close, if it's the same company. It's a, just a can- Canadian version. Just a Canadian version of GameStop? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I mean, I hope they're not going through the same stuff. Oh, he says it's pretty this. accurate. Wow. Yeah. That's some crazy shit. That's some crazy shit, for sure. I was telling him, though, like because he was like always unhappy there. And I said, you know, you should just like quit your job, man. I like, just go to Triffon's Pizza full time. <laughs> and then I told him, like I think last week, I'm like, yeah, it's a good thing you didn't fucking listen to me, because then he would be out of job yeah that's true well he did used to work there and then he jumped ship well he was working both ways oh he was doing both mm-hmm. oh interesting wow good double dipping just in case seeing which one uh yeah. seeing which one he can go into uh yeah like i said hope everyone's doing good this is going to be a very e3 heavy episode so uh i am if video games are your thing then awesome he's back Oh, yes. We need to get a t-shirt made that says, Anthony, do your job. I think that would be a fun t-shirt to have. Um, so, yeah, it, while we're doing this, obviously, you're if you're, you're obviously not on live, but when you're listening to this, you can always check out on YouTube and just let us know right away. What are your favorite? What were your favorite E3 games that came out that were announced? Which one was your favorite showcase? Less people or less companies out this year. Obviously, Sony wasn't, uh, wasn't out there this year. Um, I don't know if Sony's doing its own thing. I think I kind of like... Maybe. I'm not sure if this was just because I lumped together because I know for Comic-Con, a lot of companies are doing their own thing now mm-hmm. instead of like going to Comic-Con. Mm-hmm. But I think I might have heard Sony's doing their own thing. So they're actually uh, like, I don't know, it's weird. I don't know why. Sony always wins E3. I don't, it just feels weird without Sony. Yeah, well, and they, but they still release their trailers, which obviously you do. That is what you do. You release your trailers and you make sure that the world sees them. Um, but before we get to that, a couple things. How has it been post entertain facts for you because again for those of you who don't know i'm for those of you listening already know the count was deleted mm-hmm. um what, what was the final total again we talked about it 70 fuck 8.9 78.9 it's yeah. a lot of big numbers mm-hmm. um how's it been since uh been since good like i've been like i've been like you know tempted to go back but it's just kind of one of those things is like i don't want to post the same content mm-hmm. and uh, i feel like the end game either way would be would be me getting deleted. Mm-hmm. I think I just saw some like Instagram account that I never followed, but I just like saw who kind of did the same thing I did, just talked about movies and used clips and shit. Mm-hmm. And I think he just got deleted. Oh, okay. So it's because kind of I don't know why Instagram's such a bitch about it because it's all under a minute long, it's all under fair use. I don't know why they're like so they have such a stick up their ass to like 
for copyrights because YouTube doesn't do it. Twitter doesn't do it. Well, YouTube does do it quite a bit. I mean, there's a lot of people that have to put disclaimers mm-hmm. out, but even then they get taken down. Um, yeah, it's okay that you're by yourself. We just we figured people were going to be there by themselves. I saw Arturo pop in, but he, maybe he's you know watching the game. I feel and like stuff. he's a basketball guy. Yeah, he might be. So uh, yeah, if you're by yourself, hey, it's the three of us now. It's Don't a three be way. scared. Don't be scared. Um, has it been one of those like? reflective times like aside from the fact of oh. thinking of going back is it kind of like did 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 a weight look, get lifted off your shoulders well in a way but it's also like i called it like uh anthony's big two weeks because i lost my page uh then it was like a, just back to back and then at the mosaic thing we did mm-hmm. i got mati which is evil eye which is like some kind of greek curse which i never believed in it's greek voodoo but your dad i kind of felt sick and your dad like i'm like, okay father spiel can you bless me he's like yeah sure does it mati and walks away I'm like oh fuck Mm-hmm. So then the next day, I was backing up my car in the parking lot, put it into drive. Some girl hit me mm-hmm. straight up. Uh, next day, lost my job. Mm-hmm. Also, woman, if you are in a relationship, I have much respect for you because women are the most complicated people I've like ever met in my life. And like, I've never been interested in women, like just kind of like, not like that way, but just like going out in like a relationship kind of way. And it's just like, wait, wait, hold on. Are you are you talking about how complex women are, yes. and so having to to navigate that? Oh is yeah, to respect. Difficult? Yeah, yeah, man, it takes like, a while. Fuck me, you know what it takes. Um, here's some here's some relationship advice. For, but I'm newly married. Nick would know more because he's been married longer. But I have a lot of married friends, and um, the way that I figured is this: most of the time, you're going to be wrong. Mm-hmm. Not that you are wrong. You're just going to be wrong, and it's a cost benefit analysis on how much you're going to invest in a particular thing, which side of the couch, which side of the bed, when can you, I don't know, play PlayStation, reading, going out, doing all sorts of stuff. And it's it's your it's a test of your own internal meditation, kind of um, zen-like state of when you can look at something and be like, this isn't that important. I know it's going to escalate, and I don't need my ego to get in. Mm-hmm. You know? But... It takes many, many years. Soph and I have been together for eight years now, almost 10, and I still fuck it up almost all the time. You just learn different stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, other than that, so I've kind of just been like, it's my last couple of weeks of high school, so I have to MC my grad, and I have to like get the script ready, and I have to make sure it's, you know, PC, because... Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's a high school grad, I want to straight up say right now, I'm actually writing two scripts, one with like hidden jokes, and there's this one where uh, I set it up where it's not going to be in the script I give the teacher, so it's going to be a big surprise, and we didn't talk about it. But, like, I wear sunglasses, and he's like, why are you wearing sunglasses? And I just go off talking about this friend I lost a couple of weeks ago and how important he was to me. Mm-hmm. And it's this, like, long paragraph, and he cuts me off. Are you talking about entertain facts? Ah. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, shut the hell up. That's and really then, good. You should do that. That's really good. I like that. But, yeah, we have a lot of, like, hidden. It's, like, fun, though, because like, I can get a focus on other stuff. You know, there's all those parties. Like, I'm not a party guy, but I've gone to, like, Stag and Co-Stag. Mm-hmm. And a party with all guys is much more fun with a party with girls because guys, you can just kind of, like, be unfiltered and do whatever the fuck you want. True. But with girls, it's kind of like, got to be careful and shit. You can't really kind of do or say a lot of shit because we're For in that sure. age where I'm not trying to catch a case. Well, yeah, it's, I think in general, it has to get navigated. Um, even, I mean, those pictures, we'll get to Keanu, Keanu Reeves for sure, but there are those oh, pictures yeah. that are going out where, where his hand is open, right? Mm-hmm. And you can look at it from both ways. There's people looking at it from both ways. One, that he's respecting these women, and another, it's that look at what Me Too's gone where he doesn't even feel comfortable getting close to them. Then there was other photos of uh, celebrities taking photos with uh, their hands behind their backs and leaning forward. Mm. And so that they're still in the shot from that perspective, but if you take it from the side, they're actually not there at all. And yeah, man, I mean, it's it's a case-by-case basis. You know what I mean? Like I, I've got friends of mine that I can put my hand on their shoulder and they're not going to do anything. Most of mm-hmm. my friends, right? But if I don't know them, if you don't know them, it's it's really tough to navigate. That's I would say that's even harder to navigate than actually being in a relationship one on one. Well, yeah, I'm going to tell you that right now. But at yeah, least, at least from what I'm seeing, overall, just been kind of enjoying life, figuring shit out. Mm-hmm. And I have something in the works for the summer, like nothing Instagram related, something kind of new that I'm like talking to some guy about. And that might happen. I don't know. Sometime in the fall, but that's just just kind of like chilling for now. Just it's a nice break, honestly, because like with Instagram, I said like. I had over 2,000 posts and it was just kind of like getting tiring, like finding new clips to post and new facts to post. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I said it here, but I like, I did say it. Like I went out on top, like my page never died. Like it was just like, 
Right, you never declined. Yeah, it just it got taken away, but it was still on on the mm-hmm. incline. Yeah, it is very different than than to to just take it away because it's not doing very well. I also and, did have an offer though, like a, two weeks before I got deleted. Some guy was asking to buy the account for ten thousand dollars. Oh man! But I I thought it was kind of a scam. Like I wasn't sure, so I didn't respond to it. But yeah. it's still cool because like I didn't confirm if it was a scam or not, so I could yeah. still say I was offered ten thousand dollars for it. That's true because so. it could have been nothing. Mm-hmm. It could have been like one of those scams that you get from a Nigerian prince. That says that, you know, if you help them out, they'll give you a million dollars. Those are very careful. You got to be very careful mm-hmm. for those ones. Um, sweet. Um, 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 um. Uh, Nick is busy with the baby. Yes. Yes. Nick is busy with the baby. And uh, he's going to be even more busy because he's got a second one on the on the way. Mm-hmm. I was watching Harry Potter for the first. No, not. Sorry. I've only seen Harry Potter one to four. I've read one to four. I haven't read the other ones. And I just started watching five and six yesterday and then got on to seven. It's completely random, but it's kind of one of those movies that it's like, I was messaging a friend of mine and they're like, dude, you've never seen Harry Potter straight through? And I said, no, it was never, I was never really into it. Yeah. You know, I, I enjoyed the books quite a bit. I enjoyed the books more than the movies, obviously, as these things yeah. go. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's getting uh, getting pretty complicated. I think I might have seen them like a while ago, but I honestly like cannot really like reference any of the scenes i know i me and my brother saw the last two mm-hmm. we watched it on dvd and then saw it the next day in the what theater. is that one the um, the deathly hollows yes I think. i'm on deathly hollows part one so we saw that i know i've seen the first and maybe the second one but like from three to six is like just a blur like i can't really recall yep. anything other than spoilers i've heard but it doesn't really matter to me did you watch white gold season two no i've been like watching modern family because i have this new app that like my like French teacher gave it to me because it's some guy in the UK as a server, kind of like Netflix, but with a bunch of like streaming shows. Oh, cool! So I've just been kind of watching shows I've always wanted to watch. So I've been watching Modern Family. I want to watch Chernobyl because I heard that's hear that's really good. Yeah, everyone's talking about Chernobyl. But like, there's just like all of these shows, the community I haven't seen in like years. So I want to watch that too. But mm-hmm. no, was it good? It was good. It wasn't as good as the first one. It was really complicated. It was really um, what does he say? Showbox. Not Showbox. It's called Plex. It's like an app that you like. But I know Showbox. It's just yeah. kind of a pain in the ass to use. Um, yeah, uh, it was good. But it was, again, complicated. And they were adding a bunch of storylines in there that kind of like took away from it. And you're just like, I don't know. It, it was. It had its funny moments for sure. But the first season is really good. Uh, still really good. Was it 10 uh, episodes too? Like around that much? Or was it more? I think so. Okay. Um, no, sorry. It's more because they're only 20 minutes at 20 minute episodes or so. So I think it was like 24 or something. Oh shit. Okay. It could be less or it's very similar to the first season. I also watched Fargo TV show. First two seasons. Exceptional. Third season's really tough to get through. I'm did only you four episodes. Finish in. Brooklyn Nine Nine. I did. I found it like fucking like stupidly funny. I have no. I was like dying. This last laughing. season. Yeah. We never talked about Brooklyn Nine. I think I had that on my notes. Um, I I need to watch it again. There are some episodes that I felt they were really diving deep in some territory that Brooklyn Nine Nine never needed to dive deep mm-hmm. on because it's just understood. There was that one like deep episode. I forget what it was. I just know it was a deep like there was like what was it? Was it the one where Amy w- with the girl yeah. uh, that was fired or mm-hmm. something with her job? Yeah, there was I didn't mind I didn't mind the subject matter. Mm-hmm. I just didn't like the way that they had Jake. Like, you know, yeah. when he's like, oh, cool, cool, cool. And then he goes on his little like talk, about, like mm-hmm. pretty much surmising what the actual issue is because he's super uncomfortable. And I was just like, well, you didn't need to say that. And and I'm actually, uh, what saved that episode a lot for me uh, was um, first the revelation with Amy, mm-hmm. with her old com- uh, chief mm-hmm. or commander, whoever it was. And then the other one was um, Rosa. Yeah. Rosa was very insightful, very um, like you you totally understood her as being like the feminist of the the precinct. But there were some episodes where they were really diving into stuff that's again, th- that show never needed to. Mm-hmm. Right. Like they never made it so they, they were never so into those topics. They just existed as normal people. And you're just like, oh, like they're they're accepting of Holt. They're accepting of these situations. So I. Yeah, I, f- I found it a little bit different. Different, yeah, sorry, different than the other seasons. Um, but I got to watch it again. The Scully and Hitchcock episode. I love how they. Got, oh my god! Yeah, that was Bad great. Castle. I wish they had more. Like I, I would love to watch. I think they might. I a wouldn't spin-off. be surprised. Yeah, but I think uh, with Brooklyn Nine Nine, a lot of times they try to do these like complex issues. They really like have people go out of character. Like one scene I remember the most was there's that. I think it was the last season. Or a season or two seasons before, when he they're in prison, mm. and the and Jake's talking about how the transgender people have it so hard in prison, and the like guy that head of the prison was like, 
really he was a dick like he was a douche yeah and terrible. Like, yeah they have it really hard and he was really bad and i feel like that character would not say that like he'd just be like he would not give a fuck yeah, maybe they. Um, I, I have to watch it again. I don't remember it exactly, but it could be one of those things where they, because I, I remember that guy, like the mm-hmm. the, the, the warden. warden. Yeah, he was a dick, and mm-hmm. he was just pretty much saying it how it is, like he wasn't yeah. sugarcoating anything. So maybe that was a thing. But uh, yeah, it was just interesting this episode. I just noticed a lot of that, and I don't know if it's because I'm watching these battles happen outside mm-hmm. of my like in the YouTubes on on the internet in the New York Times and all these places that I'm actually reading and quote unquote being informed but I'm finding that it's actually getting worse like I'm 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 actually I know less than I did when I started mm-hmm. yeah no um but yeah it was still a good season mm-hmm. and yeah. I actually liked how they switched up the uh, heist See, episode that, it was pretty decent whoever is in charge of the fucking YouTube of Brooklyn 99 needs to calm down so spoiler if you haven't finished Brooklyn 99's newest season but I was just scrolling. I think this was like two or three days before the season came out on Netflix. And I want to suggest it. It's fine. It's like how Terry won the Halloween heist in the title. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, That's what? terrible. Like, I wasn't like that choked about it. Like, whatever. It's a fucking Halloween heist. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I don't watch it for the plot. But it's still like, get your head out of your ass. It's a fun thing. Just like the mm-hmm. Doug Judy thing. I actually thought the uh, spoilers got rid of him. I, I thought oh, it was yeah. real in the beginning. No, I, I knew like, he wasn't oh, dead. I'm like, no, he's not fucking damn. dead. Um. Do you see that Thor video? I think my brother posted it. I did not thing see it. Where he was uh he was playing Hurt from Johnny Cash as Fat Thor, which was originally a nine inch nail song. Um it was really funny. I, he's actually a pretty good guitarist. And he was playing on like a ukulele or almost. I heard us I something I heard yesterday or either earlier today was that in the final battle they wanted Thor to lose all the weight when he got struck by lightning. Oh. But he actually pushed saying no, like he didn't want to do it. I'm glad they didn't. Well, honestly, like when I was watching, I wish they did, but like looking back on it, A it wouldn't make sense because that just wouldn't make sense. B, yeah. like it took away from the seriousness, but honestly, like it's whatever. It wasn't that big of a deal. And I just think it shows like a new depth to him because like he got super depressed and all that crap and it like shows an accurate representation of depression, how you overate, got like really sad, just like drank himself mm-hmm. and just did nothing. Well, it was, it was, uh, especially when you go into Infinity War, when he literally tells Rocket, like, what more do I have to lose? Mm-hmm. And he actually lost more than he thought he was going to lose. And that's going to spiral anybody out of, out of control, mm-hmm. right? Um, no, I, I'm I'm glad they didn't do that either because I def- it definitely would have taken it away because it was that whole thing of the way I saw it, no matter how down you are, as long as you've got your crew with you, you can always get up and fight again. Mm-hmm. And that's what he did. He just, he, he stood there in his thing before he calling the lightning and he's just like, let's do this. Like we have it, like I have it in me and he, I've got my crew with me and, and we can do this. Mm-hmm. Like that's what heroes do. I thought it was very poignant. Um, also, the liar thing was coming out. I don't know why people make it such a big deal. The liar. People, yeah, where Robert Downey Jr. improvised the liar line when he was yelling at Cap. Oh. And he was uh, and he's just like, liar. I'm like, that's not big news. It's No, I'm, man. Anything they do in these movies that they improvise, they find like the greatest thing ever. It's like, you know, yeah. like Tom Holland's death scene, sure. Like, you give that praise. But like, it's just one of those things where that's not like a groundbreaking. Th- it's not like no one. I didn't remember that fucking scene. That shows like, I know what you're talking about. But yeah, it's yeah. like, it's not a groundbreaking scene in the movie where it's like insane. Like, oh, my goodness. That's the scene in the movie. If they were ever going to consider him for an Oscar, that would be the scene for me. I I actually got both times I watched it, I got super emotional, especially the second time because it was just like everyone's when you're thinking about the fallout from Civil War Mm -hmm. and you're expecting them to get together. And you see that trailer or the scene in the trailer where it's like, hey, do you trust me? He's like, I do. But we never saw what happened before that. And what's going to happen when they meet each other? And it was it wasn't a. Avengers one style of fight where they're going back and forth where he's saying you're not the guy to lay down on the line and everything um, it's not a civil war fight in that room with the pens and stuff really great scene there it was cap is cap is finally realizing that um, what you know he, he understands what he's going through and he's just like I'm going to take this and Iron Man is putting it all out there because he's done shit that he never like the things that he saw in that time and almost dying, of course. Mm-hmm. And he, he, un, he wrongfully blames it on Steve, but at the same time in that moment, what do you do? You know, like when you're that down and, and when you're almost dying and, and every, I don't know, I thought it was a, it was a great scene, but the fact that he said liar, I'm like, I thought it was a great line. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know if it's newsworthy to uh, no. breaking news. An actor improvises on a movie. One more thing before we get to E3 though. Yes. I actually ended up seeing Shazam. Uh, the other day, I watched it on that like site and I just 
it was like a stupid movie, but mm-hmm. it was one of those that you knew was gonna be a stupid movie, but it was like actually enjoyable because it's just like kind of like a like kid humor you can just kind of like fuck around with. You didn't take it seriously? Oh no! Like okay. I just kind of I was just a movie I wanted to watch to enjoy, not like you know, a fucking Marvel like this is like a serious movie. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought or, it was like or something that you have to follow. Mm-hmm. Oh, what does this mean? What does that mean? How does this tie in? Yeah, but it was just like a fun movie to watch. Do you like it better the second time? Or did you have first? No, I never saw it the first time. Oh, it was your first viewing. Yeah, it was my first oh, time. Yeah. Um, actually, what's really funny is there was a meme going around where Cap says "assemble" and he says it quietly. Oh, yeah. And I then saw, I found it so funny. And then the video of Shazam being like, "I can't hear you." I thought that was so genius that they did it in the movie. And then I was like, kind of thinking about like, I wonder how many people heard that. But I guess once Thor started yelling, yeah. that's when it's like, "Oh, it's on." I remember I I love all these like old Captain America memes where he's like in the past and Peggy's like. I remember there's a How Much Mother one. Like, oh my god, this like I wonder, can't wait to meet who the mother is since it's not Robin anymore. <laughs> and he's just like, it's a, show, a photo of him being depressed and shit. Uh, it was like, I think her, like, yeah, Spider Man 2 is amazing. I can't wait for the fourth one. Just with another photo of him depressed, crying. <laughs> and I just think they're so funny. Uh, what was another one? There's something else that had to do with him, and I don't remember now. I'm blanking. What were we just talking about? Oh, well, I was going back to that assemble line I was trying to picture what it would be like if he yelled it out like in Ultron mm-hmm. where he's like Avengers and then obviously the cadence would be assemble right mm-hmm. but I'm like in that moment any other way other than just an assemble the angry like, whisper yeah like even though it would does it make sense in battle it, none of it does uh it still is one of those things where any other way would have been ridiculous. It would have been the almost the equivalent of Darth Vader's no. Like I, I agree with that on the point. Like him screaming it, honestly, like sure it might be like cool at the moment, but I feel like that was the perfect way to do it. Just the angry whisper on his face, and then just with the Thor. cut arm with every yeah, and then Thor just screeching. That was so. I loved his yell. That was his mm-hmm. best yell. And and a Black Panther right after it gives me goosebumps every time. What does he say? He said he liked Shazam. I downloaded illegally and almost Uh-oh. got our internet shut off. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed Shazam. LOL. You got to be very you can't careful. can't download movies, man. You got to just stream. Stuff. Just you stream. You can't copyright anything. Otherwise, it'll delete your account. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. I don't know how Vasily does it. Vasily fucking downloads a lot of shit. He's got to be very careful. I don't he need him. He's going to catch a case. I'm gonna, I told him, like, stop doing shit like that. Um, all right. Let's E3 get into time. it. E3. In the vein of EA Sports. E3 2019. Oh, sorry. Before we get that, I had two... Co- I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Black Adam has a director now. Okay. Um, the director is... I usually used to go to the Entertain Facts page to find this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, the shitty he, part is, too, a bunch of my like friends... James, sorry. Huam. Kwame, J-A-U-M-E, Colette Sarah, is now directing DC's Black Adam. Um, I don't know this guy. Has he directed anything else? Uh, I mean, for, he must have. So, But I don't know what else he has. Um, that's kind of the, the main thing I have. So Black Adam's got a uh, director. Um, I was going to bring up, well, Terry Crews said there's going to be a White Chicks 2, but you've never seen the first one. I have. Oh, you have? Yeah. I was hoping my brother's going to be on here, but now that you have. So that's happening, you know. That's one of those when movies. Did it, didn't it come out like before 2000s? Oh my God. It was, I want to say it was like 2001. Maybe. I don't know if that's like, I feel like it's going to be a bad movie. I think it's it's going to be like a, it's be a most funny of the movie Wayans maybe, movies. But it's just kind of like, I feel like it's kind of too late to kind of like, ca- oh, he's still, are they the ones who do scary movie too, right? Yeah. yeah fuck, I, they need to keep doing that shit, man. I fucking love those movies. A Haunted House too. I die laughing each fucking time I watch it. It's never been for me. Like I, I've watched them all and I've enjoyed them to an extent, but I haven't gone back to them in a very. The first one I've gone back to. The second one, kind of. Like me and Matthew, we fucking watch them all the time. We always die laughing at the fucking Annabelle scene. Well, I mean, Waterboy is not a very good Adam Sandler movie, oh, yeah. but me and Ethan, which is funny, you know, mm-hmm. Matthew's uh, older brother, um, we watch it all the time. Like we what we like we adore that movie. He was telling me he's like when he with, with his daughter. Uh, he's like, yeah, me and Georgie are watching uh, Waterboy. I'm like, dude, that's the dream right now. <laughs> like, you were living the dream. What's Arturo saying? I feel like when chicks, what? oh, white chicks. Sorry. I feel like white chicks is a movie of its time. Of its time. Don't, Don't know, know if, it'll if I'll work now. If it'll, if work. it'll work now. I agree. I 100% agree. And really, when you, like that movie itself Just wasn't funny. Dicey for Terry, now. Terry Crews was funny. I'm going to put that out. There was there were some good moments in it, mm-hmm. but it's really Terry Crews for me that if he wasn't in there, the movie would just not be very good. Um, supposedly or reportedly, Tarantino's Star Trek script is done and he's pushing for it to be rated R. 
couple things I saw, it is rated R. A couple things I saw, it's he's pushing for an R rating. Obviously, it's a Tarantino script. So, well, for the script, like if it should be rated R, let it be rated R. But if he's just kind of going for like I want to be rated R, it's I sense. think he wants it to because he writes his scripts. Well, that if it's right in that way, then yeah. yeah, do it. But if it's like, and I mean, R rating is not just the swears; it's the mm-hmm. violence, yeah. it's whatever else he has in there, and it isn't Tarantino. That'd be cool to see. Like I think a Star Wars, like Star Trek, obviously, I'm not mm-hmm. that comparison, but I feel like a Star Wars, a Star Trek kind of like film with violence and shit like that would actually be kind of cool because it's a war. Like yeah. I have never seen Star Trek, but I imagine it's kind of the same where like. They they have battles with shit, so it's kind of like a war in it that way. It'd be very interesting. Like it, I I, I can't picture a Tarantino script Star Trek movie, but he's great with his script. So really, what are we gonna say? Um, okay, let's get into it. E three, twenty nineteen. I didn't watch any of the videos. I just watched trailers oh, yeah, I and I watched to watch the fucking panels. Yeah, I watched some I watched some gameplay. I watched some commentary from other publications like your IGNs mm-hmm. and your GameStops and some of the other independent ones. Um, 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 last year you had the Friendship Breakers on. Yes, we did. That was pretty oh, cool. Yeah, um, if you don't know who the French bre- uh, Friendship Breakers are, they're on. They're heavily on Twitch. They play video games and stuff. Um, I honestly I forget their names because I wasn't on that episode. I know you were, but you forget their names too. Yep, it's been a but year since I talked to them. We so. just we just know them as the Friendship Breakers. So I mean, if you're on Twitch and you want to find people to game, check them out. They really know their shit for sure. A um, lot of stuff mm-hmm. that was announced. I you saw know Cat McDaniel. Cat, I don't know Cat. McMatthews, I think, what a cat said he liked uh, the Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 announcements. Yeah, that's a big one. I didn't really give a fuck. I cannot get into that game. I don't know what it is. Really? No, I cannot. Like, You're like the first person I've heard. I've tried, but like, it's not a bad game. Like, it's just yeah. not for me. Like, that's just, I just don't enjoy it. It's really interesting. Okay. Actually, I was having a conversation with Ethan today. I know we're going to have to get into the trailers, and whoever's listening is probably like, dude, just get the fucking <laughs> thing going. Um, I'm not a Nintendo person. I stopped playing Nintendo uh, once the Nintendo 64 came out. I did go to GameCube to play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. I played Luigi's Mansion. Oh, and the third one's coming out too. Yeah. Um, I played Xbox for a time. Uh, That was the first console I had before PlayStation. But I did have a Sony PS1. And... um. Do you think, like, for you, is it the game itself? Like, you're a big Nintendo guy. Mm -hmm. Is it the games that drive you to the console? Oh, yeah. Like, no matter what? So, Mm -hmm. let's say, so, not let's say. So, it is, it's not really, I'm going to a Nintendo Nintendo console because I want to go to a Nintendo console. It's just the games that I prefer playing are primarily there. Well, for me, for video games, like, I like single-player games. I like all those games. But I just, like, most of the time when I, like, want to play games, I don't play it very often anymore. Mm -hmm. I just want to, like play a game that's fun i can just play quickly so there's like mario kart smash bros mario maker 2 is coming out this month which i'm excited for because it's just like a bunch of random mario levels that you can just Mm -hmm. keep playing over and over so nintendo has those like games that a you can play with friends if they're over and b you can just kind of play like mindlessly and not really like focus on it Mm -hmm. and breath of the wild was like a story game but it's also i think i said this last year too it was really realistic with like the eating system and the weather system it just kind of like took away from the fun of it because like i don't want to build a fucking coat to go in a winter area i just want to go in a winter area interesting so yeah, this, i love that shit yeah i, I didn't play the game but i love that like I, really, it reminds me of a lot of red dead 2 which is like fine because both the like, great games i've heard sure. yep. but it's just not for me i just kind of want to like play mindlessly and not have to like spend a lot of time banjo kazooie on, on smash, smash bros that's pretty cool i loved banjo kazooie when it came out like that was one of my favorite games for the n64 it was they're amazing they also have this guy from J- dragon quest a hero i don't know why the fuck they add him yeah it just seems like an odd character to add so you're you're saying you're more like the gameplay's got to be solid for you. Yeah. So if we're saying uh, gameplay is on my left hand, on this side, right hand is story. You're heavily you're leaning more towards the gameplay, mm-hmm. if anything, right? Yeah, I'm kind of in the middle, and I think that's why PlayStation has always mm-hmm. been more like the games that have come out for PlayStation have been the ones that drive me to the PlayStation, right? Mm-hmm. Xbox has incredible games, right? But I'm not a first person shooter guy. Yeah. I don't Just care. Call of Duty for me. Yeah, I'm not a very uh, tech savvy guy either, so I don't know the minutia of the systems. Mm-hmm. I just literally go Uncharted, Sony, God mm-hmm. of War, Sony, um, Assassin's Creed goes both, doesn't matter. Um, the Witcher was on all of them, but I have a PlayStation anyways. Like I'm very much in that. Find me that perfect middle ground because like Order 9- 1886 or something or 1866. 
that was a very story, very little gameplay. So that was like on the other side where I'm like, I'm not going to enjoy this. There's what? Okay. So I used to be an Xbox One player, but I was kind of getting tired of it. And I think like two weeks after they announced Spider-Man was going to be a PS4 exclusive, I went and bought a fucking PlayStation Mm -hmm. just for that sole game. And I played Uncharted 4, which was hype. I want to like buy... Uncharted 4 is wonderful. I Like my brother and my uncle and and Nick, like they always played Uncharted like one, Mm -hmm. two, and three in front of me. And I, like, I, I know how they end and all that, and I played a bit of it, but I never actually played it fully, so I want to like mm-hmm. go and buy like the remaster they have on the PS4 just to like play it all. Well, and it uh, it brought Nolan North and Troy Baker mm-hmm. together, and those guys are legends now. In I the... still can't get into The Last of Us, though. I really? keep trying, and it's just, I don't know what it is, because I love Uncharted, but I yeah. just like... Well, they're two very different mm-hmm. games. They're 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 differently paced. Um, Uncharted is just fun, though. Like, they have fun, like the train fucking scene and all that shit. It's number just, two, like, a, yeah. The Among airplane thieves. where you're like falling out. Uncharted three, yeah, yeah that fun, was a like, great, scenes, great scene. Um, yeah, it's I, I'm I'm a huge fan of those ones. Last of Us was very more story than gameplay. It had a very simple gameplay, but I just gravitated towards it. Just mm-hmm. sometimes you just play something and you're like, it just works for me. Like um, the big one for me was Cyberpunk 2077, mm. and the reason it's the big one because it's a first person game, mm-hmm. which is not my bag. Yeah, but in this case, it's CD Projekt Red and my love for The Witcher 3 knows no bounds. I didn't play Witcher 2. I didn't play the original. I never read the books. So I'm one of those fans that just got on board on Witcher 3. So I'm I'm one of those guys. Uh, but I feel like there's, there's probably majority times, of them. Yeah. Are... Which is actually exciting that they have it for the Switch. Oh, yeah, they uh, do, yeah. I, I, and then they announced that and it's official. I would highly recommend doing it docked as opposed to handheld. Oh, because no, I think yeah. There's most, too much yeah. detail. Um, especially on the H, the, the HUD is going to mm-hmm. be too... Uh, it's going to fill up your screen too much. But that game looks amazing. Mm-hmm. From story, obviously, it's CD Projekt Red. Graphics, um, it looks so messed up, and I don't know why, but it does look like it might be up my alley for a first-person shooter. The thing I dislike, I've talked about this before, Like I hate single-player games that are first-person just because... I don't know what it is. I just hate playing them because I just get tired of... I think I get like motion sickness too, and it's just like... It's very, I love yeah. seeing like the character in third person, like mm-hmm. playing Spider Man. Like it'd be cool to have a first, like GTA had the option to be in first person, but yes. still be third person. That's what I loved. That was like, a great one. Mm-hmm. Even in Red Dead, it was a great one. Like it was a, it was a, it was a great feature to add. I just wish more games like had that feature, just because it'd be like, mm-hmm. just I don't know, more enjoyable for me. Because I just love first person or first, sorry, solo games or story mm-hmm. games and f- third person. Yeah. We're not going to get too into the details of like some of the smaller games. We're talking mostly oh, yeah, the like bigger hype. ones. Like they the also ones announced a new are... Xbox. Yeah, that. Don't one. know what it's called. I forget. I they didn't give Scorpio. a name. I think it was Scorpio. I want to say or some shit. Scorpio. Like that. Let me check. Um, I don't know what the new play. I think it's the PlayStation Five is just the PlayStation Five, but they yeah, never they haven't revealed yet, anything. Well, they, just, well, like, they haven't. Really, yeah, they've announced not revealed. They they've released details. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure is in response to. That's my guess. Um. Keanu Reeves coming out or is now in mm-hmm. like he's in it and some people What's were Scarlet? saying cameo Xbox Scarlet Xbox Scarlet that's a nice name mm-hmm. that's a great name um yeah I like that name um but he's not just a cameo he's an actual yeah, character so, yeah he's a former rock star turned mercenary or something in this world uh which is really cool he looks amazing in the game mm-hmm. play and i mean everybody loves him he came out on stage and it was like it was amazing. It was pretty awesome. He's having he's having a bigger renaissance than aside from uh what's his face winning his Oscar for Dallas Buyers Club. I'm blanking nope. on his name. Um Black Fred. No, not Black Fred. What's his name? Matthew McConaughey. Oh, okay. And he had a McConaissance, is what they were calling it. And Keanu Reeves is everywhere and everybody loves him. Mm-hmm. I'm one of those people that I liked him. Uh, I'm I'm a fan of like um, The Devil's Advocate is a great movie mm-hmm. from the day Speed Point Break before they you know redid it into Fast and Furious, but then John Wick came out and I'm like yo this guy's like amazing and then obviously he's one of those guys like you hear the stories about him you mm-hmm. can't help but love the guy yeah no he's a really nice guy like donating his checks something on the Matrix to, like, he gave him to the uh, the yeah. effects people which I found something really interesting there's a there's a guy named Bob Chipman I don't really agree with this guy on a lot of things he's on uh, YouTube. But he did make a, a a video called "Really That Good" on the Matrix, and um, I don't know. I'd recommend you check it out. There's a very interesting discussion there on because the Wachowskis are transgender. Mm-hmm, that yeah. a lot of that is in that movie in in a subtextual way that I never picked up on. All I didn't even think about. 
And then when uh, he was going through it, I know he was putting it in there, but just the fact that he put it in there and kind of left that nugget in my mind, I'm like, huh, that's really cool. Ma- First, I need to see The Matrix. Oh, you should. Yeah. You should see it. It's very good. It's still really, really good. Um, anyway, so he comes out. People love him. He's in the game. I'm stoked. Mm-hmm. I'm pre-ordering. I don't think. I might have to wait a bit longer just because I've got a couple games I want to come out. Or I'm excited for First, Modern Warfare 4, just yep. because I've been waiting for this since 2011. Uh, game I'm really excited for, though, is Dragon Ball Kakarot, which is like a whole story of Dragon Ball Z in like an RPG style. And there's rumors that it's going to go past and do other arcs and like super. So it's going to be like a whole like you'll be playing Dragon Ball's whole story, which is pretty cool. The Super Saiyan universe. Mm-hmm, yes. Nice. The SSU. SSU. Uh, what was the other one? Avengers, I'm excited for just because it's a fun concept. Like the graphics. Let's, let's talk about Avengers because that's been the most controversial yeah. one this week. Everyone Yo. cares about graphics and I just like, shut the fuck up and just play the game. <clears throat> it's a video game. Yeah. Like I don't understand why. Like, I, as a Nintendo fan, I don't give a shit about graphics. As long as the game is good and fun and mm-hmm. I can enjoy it, I don't give a shit. Well, Nintendo does get away with it from being really hyper colorful mm-hmm. and it look, they look awesome. They look mm-hmm. fun. They, they are, There's a lot of color to them and you can kind of... Uh, you can kind of cheat that way. And it seems like it's in that middle ground between like an Xbox game and a, and a Nintendo game because PlayStation tends to veer towards the hyper-realistic. Oh, yeah. Did you like the trailer? Yeah, I thought it was like interesting. Like Everybody hated the fact that they didn't look like the MCU stars, which I didn't even give a shit about because it's, a a, it's like a legal issue, I'm pretty sure. No, it's under Marvel. Well, so under Marvel. Mind you, I, I don't know. That's a, It's an interesting question. I'm not sure if Also, it, it looks like the comic book counterparts, which I noticed, yeah. which is like, whatever, you know, that's fine. Do it. Like, I don't give a shit if it doesn't look like Chris Evans. Also, wouldn't you, like, even if it doesn't look like Chris Evans, it looks like Captain America. Mm, exactly. He's got his armor, which mm-hmm. I like the hockey pad memes that were going around. <laughs> What's the difference between you and me? I'm not wearing hockey pads. Uh, I just think it looks interesting. I'm excited to play. I'm excited to see who else they announce. I hear rumors that there's going to be a PS4 exclusive character, oh. which people are saying it's going to be Spider-Man. Which That'd be interesting. I don't think they'll do because, A, if they do that, they'll get shit on. They you will think? get hated on like by everybody. Because of the uh, Spider-Man Well, just because we it's Spider-Man. Know. It's yeah. kind of like doing a game where you have Batman as an like, like, exclusive character like, to yeah. a console, which is kind of like it's a dick thing to do. Uh, but I guess it's Sony, so it's really up to Sony, not the game. It's a good call. Uh, it'd be cool, though, because apparently in the Spider-Man game, he talks about the Avengers having a base in West Coast. So they're making one there. Mm-hmm. And the game in, the, in this trailer, they say they're in West Coast. So people are saying there's okay. a connection now, and it's the same universe, which would be really cool. Yeah, I think it's going to be one of those things where they're going to pull some things from the movies, but obviously it's not going to be a, a like from the movies, mm-hmm. right? The gameplay was interesting because some of it reminded me of Anthem. Mind you, I never played Anthem, yeah. but I've, I just watched trailers and like the scene where Thor and Cap are going. Um, the voiceover people are saying are, is actually Camilla Khan, who is Ms. Marvel, M.S. Okay. Marvel. Uh, she's the first East Indian superhero. Mm-hmm. And she's really like she seems really cool. I don't know much about her, but she's also a massive, massive fan of these people. So she's like a super fan girl mm-hmm. that turns into a superhero. Yeah. And that's who the voice is in the beginning where it says like, um, they say don't meet your heroes or whatever and I met the Avengers um, a lot of the events that were happening like I, I was trying to pick what was gameplay and what was yeah, there was cinematic. like very short I noticed there's some short snippets of like I think I saw Iron Man flying and I'm pretty sure that was gameplay Thor throwing the hammer kind of got they were saying the one guy from IGN I think it was guy or GameSpot was saying that you can throw Thor's hammer the way that in God of War yeah. was an over the shoulder mm-hmm. throw which I think is cool. I really hope they have Stormbreaker in the game because I care more about Stormbreaker now than I do the Molnir or whatever the hell you Yeah. Well, the thing with the the game is that they're they're gonna, they're saying that it's heavily customizable mm-hmm. uh, and it's both single and multiplayer. Mm-hmm. The from what I understand though, people were hoping for a more multiplayer thing, but they are leaning towards that. Or sorry, more single player, but they are leaning a lot to that multiplayer that is then going to lead into loot boxes and it might fall into. Well, that they said territory. free DLC, like free. Oh, is it this? I'm pretty sure. Well, free DLC is one thing. Like they're gonna they're gonna have st- a story running through the whole thing, but it's gonna it's gonna lean kind of into that. Nope, where... I actually do. I I'm 99 percent sure. I'm pretty sure I saw something saying that they said no microtransactions on this. Amazing. I'm on board. Then I don't care how it I looks. Then I'll, I'll buy it just for that fact, just so they can keep that going. Um, but I think there will be they'll have MCU suits definitely in the game. Like definitely. If will. they have Spider Man, I I they 
if they have the Raimi suits and mm-hmm. like uh, Amazing Spider-Man suits, that'd be pretty exciting. Well, and they're they're boasting how your Captain America won't look like mine, and your Iron Man won't look like mine, or your Thor won't look like mine. So my guess is Stormbreak is going to be in there for sure. Um, they they might even do the unworthy Thor, where he's got his red cloak mm-hmm. and and uh, sh- short hair with a long beard kind of thing. Um, it, it looks interesting. It doesn't look like the Spider-Man game though, mm-hmm. but. The trailer that was released for PS, the Spider-Man PS4 showed you that cinematic to seamless gameplay type of thing, yeah. which you felt for the most part, at least in the opening of, of Spider-Man mm-hmm. PS4, because it wasn't throughout the whole game. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't. Um, but it looks okay, you know? I think Black Widow's the one that kind of got... Like, yeah, trashed she, the most. Well, she just, like, doesn't look... I don't know. It's something weird. She looks very Stretching, manly. Say, yeah. Yeah, she looks very manly. That meme about her looking like the guy from Shrek mm-hmm. is is actually... Quite, quite right. Hawkeye wasn't in it. Yeah, which was, which I saw Boss Dodge made a meme saying like he uh, did a poster for Endgame or for Infinity War, but he like made everyone Hawkeye and then just changed the Infinity War logo to the Avengers logo. <laughs> uh, but also, so I have it confirmed now. Marvel's yeah. Avengers game to add new characters as free DLC. Square Enix reveals no loot boxes are pay to win. Amazing. There you go. I am excited. Yes, Lord Farquad. Lord Farquad. Thank you, Arturo. Um. Yeah. So. I think it's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. It looks like it's going to be fun. I'm not worried about the graphics at all, mm-hmm. as long as it plays great. They also released like a 45-second clip of Hank Pym, mm-hmm. where this big machine was yeah. coming down. They showed a lot of stuff, like Black Widow was fighting this one thing. It looked like Hulk was fighting the Abomination. Um, Iron Man was in the space. Hulk looks really good, too. He looks really good. Mm-hmm. I wish in the trailer, when he jumped down, they showed the transformation, because mm-hmm. they just cut to him being yeah. Hulk. I'm like, oh, it would have been sweet to show the transformation a la Avengers 1, mm-hmm. where, you know, the whole punch happens. Um, yeah, it looks great. I'm excited just to, like, I think the mo- thing I'm most excited for is to like, just squat up with my friends and just go around just beating, like, just yeah. trashing things as the Avengers. Is Ultimate Alliance 3 out? Uh, no, that comes out soon for the Switch, though. Just the Switch? Yep. Oh, man, I might have to buy a Switch. I don't think it looks that very was... good. I don't think it looks like the other Ultimate Alliances. I don't know, man. I, I played the shit out of the first two, and I'm a massive fan of it. I'm super excited it's coming back. Um, and it looks like them. It doesn't look better than them. It looks like them, which, I mean, they came out so long ago, so they should look better. Maybe they're focusing on gameplay. Who knows? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that one was There's a lot of I'm Spider-Man super... characters. I saw the roster, and I think there's, like, Spider-Man, Venom, Miles Morales, and mm-hmm. Spider-Gwen. I'm like, fuck, that's a lot of people. They'll have the Spider-Verse going. Um, who else? Bethesda had a showing. Okay, there's two games that I'm really, really, really interested about. Elden Ring, which yeah. apparently George R. R. Martin is a part of. I don't know much about it. They showed a really, really crazy looking trailer, like amazing looking trailer. And then this Ghostwire Tokyo game, which has to do with like people dying off. And then there's a cult or some type of thing. And it happens in Tokyo. The graphics on this thing are unbelievable. And it looks so different it look I, I have no idea it didn't show any gameplay it just showed the trailer but man it looked real good like real good last year my most anticipated my most hyped one was uh ghost of tsushima mm-hmm. uh, and i still can't wait for that one but most of what they release is 2020 releases yeah like avengers is what may uh yeah i think i know avengers is 2020 dragon ball is 2020 cyberpunk 2020 Cyber, yeah so it's kind of like when's the ps5 coming out 2020. So that's well, why. Well, Xbox also, December 25th, 2020. So it's like 2021 pretty much, which is... Yes. Yeah. I assume the PS5 will come out around the same time. The good thing that the PS5 is backwards compatible, and I'm pretty sure the Scarlet is too. So mm-hmm. um, they're they're probably really making it so that these games are... These are going to be the first batch of games that are going to lead us into the next console so then they can just phase it out altogether. Well, I know the P, I know PS... Or Sony said that they're going to have like... Either way, Last of Us Part Two and like all these other exclusive games they announced were gonna be on PS4 no matter what. Mm-hmm. Like they're you'll have to buy them on PS4 mm-hmm. and like they also work on PS5. So the um I had Gods and Monsters here, which was interesting. It's like Ubisoft's Breath of the Wild, um, which is like to do with Greek gods and mm-hmm. monsters. And it's also like their um what's it called? Like Odyssey. Like okay. they just got off the Greek train and they're just introducing the discovery mode on an Odyssey, which is a really amazing mode that they did on um, Origins, where you actually. So it's a traversal mode where you go to each of the things and it's you can click on it and it'll actually give you historical facts of okay. each of the buildings and everything. Like me and Soph sat there, like Soph was playing this thing with me for two hours just learning about the pyramids in Egypt. It was amazing. And so they have another one now for Odyssey, which I'm super excited mm-hmm. for. Um, 
But yeah, Gods and Monsters looks interesting. Like I said, Ubisoft's Breath of the Wild. And then they had Watch Dogs. A, a new one? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Watch Dogs 3 it's, or Watch Dogs Legion. Okay. They definitely borrowed a lot of stuff from Odyssey. I mean, mm-hmm. Ubisoft borrows, like they, they do the same yeah. thing over and over again. So they got, you can play as anybody. So what you do is you essentially connect your phone to somebody else and then you have them join your Legion and you can play as that person. So in the demo, they said that they had randomized people and they were a grandmother. And the grandmother was walking slow. She wasn't very fast or anything mm-hmm. like that. But you can play as his grandmother and then recruit people very similar to like an Odyssey where you can recruit them. So as your um, bird is looking around, um, it'll focus on, let's say, you and you have base stats as your NPC character, which can then be converted to a playable character. Now, in Odyssey, it was for your ship. In this one, it seems like, you know, adding to your crew. This guy's got plus 15 melee, plus three tech or whatever. It looked interesting. It's in London. They already have the blueprints from Syndicate anyway, so for them to adapt it to now, you know, uh, it makes sense. Um, Nothing too amazing on that one. It'll really come down to how they integrate the gameplay. I I liked Watch Dogs 2 a lot. So. I never got into Watch Dogs. No. I don't know. You're not uh, the only one. <laughs> uh, I just think like overall this year's E3 wasn't disappointing. Or sorry, I was talking on the mic. This yeah. year's E3 wasn't like amazing because there's not many games or things coming out this year. But like 2020 is going to be a crazy year just because it's all these like big ass games coming out. I'm excited. Avengers, you know, people also bash Spider-Man for shitty graphics during an E3 thing. Or a trailer. Oh, or, yeah. The yeah, puddles they, or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, don't, like, that's just a noise. You don't base a game solely on the graphics. Especially from an E3 trailer, because, mm-hmm. I mean, it isn't right that the companies use beef, beefed up stuff to mm-hmm. show their, their games, but they're selling a product. I mean, I don't know what you want. Um, some other ones here. Luigi Mansion 3. They got some trailers. Link's Awakening. Yeah, I'm actually, I might try that one out, because it's a remaster, Switch. and it actually looks pretty... There's like some Mario villains because that's how it was back in like, I don't know what it was on, but yeah. it looks fun. Uh, no More Heroes 3. I don't know. Um, I saw some trailers. It actually looks really cool. Contra Rogue Corps is another one. Marvel's Avengers we talked about. There's a Final Fantasy remake. Again. And remaster. Outriders. Okay, this Outriders game looks real crazy. So it's... Uh, I think this, this is what Kat it says. mentioned it. Did she? Last year? Oh, not Cat. Sorry, oh, this somebody else. Cat Daniels. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, futuristic apocalyptic sci-fi game games are still the rage as the official debut for the new title from People Can Fly Studio proves Outrider will feature up to three-person co-op play with plenty of shooting. For me, it was less of that. It was more of like the monsters that they had in it. Like some of the design that they had on this massive monster, you have no idea what it is. I was like, fuck, that's really cool. So that one looks awesome. Halo huh. Infinite. I think that's not coming on the Xbox One. That's going to be a launch title for the Scarlet. Yeah, that's what it says. Project Scarlet platform uh, for 2020. Cyberpunk, we have uh, 2077. I'm su- Yeah, it says Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Obviously, once you transfer it over to the PS5, then it'll just mm-hmm. beef it up even more. There's a Blair Witch game, Gears 5. I didn't see the trailer for that. It's uh, Xbox One and Windows know. 10. I only played the first one. Doom Eternal, Wolfenstein, Star Wars Jedi, Fallen Order. I never saw that trailer. I don't know. I, I, I'm i interested in the game because yeah. from what I've heard, but it's also EA, so it's kind of like one of those things where it's stepping back. Uh, from what I hear, Battlefront 2 is like much better and more fun now from yeah. this guy, but like it's kind of too late to fix the game. So if they learn from their mistakes and back. people are enjoying Battlefront 2, like mm-hmm. it's okay. They're, they shows they have some growth there. Uh, it's a single player game. They said They said no loot boxes. Hopefully they learn from their mistakes because, you know, they can't lie about that shit. It's illegal. Yeah, I, I don't mind it if it's one of those things where if you wanted extra things you mm-hmm. can pay for. Yeah. Like in Odyssey, you collect these things called Oracolcum and then you can, it's like a randomized thing. But they, they produce quests every day that you can catch this thing. So in a week, you can save up and possibly, yeah. like most of the stuff that I have, I didn't pay for. Mm-hmm. I actually, I didn't pay for any of it. And I got a bunch of cool stuff that you would have otherwise had to pay for through this system. That's a lot. If you can earn it in game, it's fine. If yeah. it's one of those things where it's just behind a paywall and it kind of like gives you an advantage. Like that's exclusively like, yeah. behind, for sure. Uh, another FIFA games I don't really care for. Kingdom Hearts 3. Isn't that Remind already? DLC. Oh, DLC. Winter okay. 2019. So it's a elusive paid DLC chapter. What else is there? I think that's all it's Borderlands says. 3. Borderlands 3 is another one, yeah. I've never... I just down... It's on PlayStation. It's free to get, like, I think all three games. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. I think there's a prequel, the first and the second one. Yeah. I've never played it, but Jesse loves them, so I don't know. Might try it out. There's a new Dragon Age, supposedly. Hmm. Um, That trailer looked pretty interesting. I think it was Dragon Age. 
Um, what else is there? There's one called Death Loop that Arturo saying he thinks it's called Death Loop. He's not sure. I don't know. Death Loop, hey. Do you know who uh, who the person or who the company is? I do not know. E three E three Death Loop. Death. There weren't there's any, a like, Death Claw. Probably Death Claw. Uh, there was also Death Stranding. I don't know how I feel about that game. It seems like one of those games that's going to be probably going to have an incredible story probably and. Confusing. Ethan was mentioning how it's probably going to be like a Last of Us type of game. And I'm like, I don't know. But at the same time, I'm, I have to look at the trailer again. I hadn't seen it since then. So um, that'd be that'd be interesting. I mean, it looks incredible. Mm-hmm. Like in graphics wise, it's like, holy shit. But you're a guy on a planet with a bot, like an, a, an infinite or a, 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 what's it called? An endless backpack. Excuse me. So that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. Uh, attendees flee in tear after Bethesda presentation glitch. Well, when was this? Oh, four days ago. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, there weren't many hype games this year that were really announced. Spoon of the Death Claw. Yeah, I don't know. Did you say anything? No. no. Sitting in silence. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there was some stuff. I, I, I feel like the whole um, the whole E3 thing, I think, slowly is going to be phased out. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially since well, Nintendo already does that like thing. They have they have things called Nintendo Directs where they kind of just have like their own E3 like every month or two where they yeah. announce new games or like they'll have Smash Bros. One where they announce a new fighter or shit like that. Yeah. So I feel like they could just do it like Nintendo does it online and it's cool to go to E3 and have like hands on shit. But you also for sure like Nintendo can just do their own. They call it Directs like Nintendo Directs. Like, they could just do it on their own, cheaper and also easier to access. Well, they already invite a lot of these publications to their places anyways to mm-hmm. test them out. Like even for mobile games, like a couple of people that I, I look at on YouTube, they're like, oh, I went down to their studios and I played some of their new upgrade, updates and stuff like that. And at one point it's going to turn into this. They, they'll they just have one spot where they can go. They can do their presentation from home base. They don't need like a full-blown stage where people are sitting around and looking at it like it's a concert. Yeah. And then just send your video here and then everyone can watch these videos happen maybe and then um in terms of gameplay they can i mean i know it's for the public and the public has a chance to play some of these games hands-on but let's be honest most of the time they let the exclusive people in they let the igns in Mm -hmm. they let everyone else in there like that so I, i don't know um going back to the avengers one thing i forgot to mention but i i already mentioned nolan north and troy baker and so they're troy baker is bruce banner and nolan north is tony stark Okay. Which means that the Hulk and Tony Stark should have some heavy dialogue in it because why would you get you know two Those, of the yeah. top voice actors in video games to be the voice in this game, right? Other than we're bringing in the best of the best. Mm-hmm. So my guess is there's something there that those two were like, fuck yeah, we want to be in this or the money's just really good. I wonder if there'll be any X-Men characters in the game because a Deadpool would be kind of interesting if you already have Nolan, Nur- Nolan, Nolan North. North. Yeah. That would that'd be really funny, mm-hmm. yeah, because I never, I only played parts of that game, but I didn't play the whole thing. I just don't know if it worked, He was though. good. I don't know if it, Deadpool, it seems like, it seems really serious, the game. I don't know if it'd, like, yeah. be him. I think Wolverine definitely could be a addition in the kind of storyline they have set up. That is who, really interesting. Who do you want the most in this game, like, as a character? Aside from Spider-Man, because that's, like, mm-hmm. A very obvious choice. I think Black Panther would be cool or Daredevil. I think they will be Daredevil. The Defenders in general would actually be pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. Daredevil would would be. Speaking of like totally random, Jessica Jones is having a season three. I thought well, they, they were already filming it. They're already filming, or they have filmed it already. It's they already filmed it. Okay, like I saw a trailer they can, for sort of it. Canceling everything. Yeah. Same with Punisher. Then they just canceled it. Out. They already canceled. They said it's the final season. Okay, so they're still releasing it. So maybe they'll have trailer, closure. Like, what the hell? Do you think they would have done reshoots and thrown in Daredevil in there? No. Maybe. I don't know. But like, all I'm going to say is they, this is the only season, only show that they actually had time to like, because they said final season. They didn't yeah. like cancel it when it was too late to actually like end it on an actual note. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see if they actually end it with any closure. They kind of just like leave it open. Yeah, that is really interesting. I miss Daredevil. I'm going to, I want to go buy the DVDs just to have them. Oh, well, they have DVDs. They should. Oh. I think they might have. How else are you going to get them? Netflix shows have them. I would think so because well, I don't think they're gonna take it off Netflix. It's off Netflix. No, Daredevil. Yeah, really. I think so. I didn't think well, it's an original. Rid of Why would they do it? Because it's a Marvel property. I don't think so. I think if I'm it's gonna like have to go a... back and check because if it is for, I've had a hankering to rewatch like it from start to finish again um, because I do that because I I haven't seen any new movies so you know my whole life is TV. 
That's one Let's thing see. you'll learn. Let me check. When you're in a when you're in a deep committed relationship. I watched half of Detect- Detective Pikachu. You watched half of it? Well, yeah, I was watching on my uh thing. Oh, on that app. Yeah. How was it? It was Oh, Daredevil still on there. They're all on there. Amazing. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't find it. Uh, but it's pretty fun. Like I was talking to my friends and they said like this plot sucks, but it's also like a kids movie, so I don't know what they were expecting, but it's like pretty like cool to see the Pokémon in real life and shit. They looked really good in the trailers. Uh, there was no Pokemon releases. Or no, there was. Yeah, was well, there any? Just like they announced. Uh, it was already been announced, but they just showed more gameplay. Was it like Pikachu or Pokemon something? Sword um, and Shield. Sword and Shield? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which, I don't know. I feel I'm feel. i surprised, actually, that Ghost of Tsushima didn't have another reel. That's a Sony property. I forgot if I about it completely. I, I rewatched some of the trailers from last year um of the movies that still aren't out yet and that was the one that i just looked i'm like man that's gonna look good they might benefit from going to a playstation 5 mm. um which i was way off on the so price. what is the game again like what's it about i don't know what exactly what it's about but it's a samurai game essentially and not like sekiro but did you ever play that one no but i really wanted to i heard it was very good i don't uh i don't have the funds to yeah. buy games anymore they're, so they're i've been like 90 playing bucks here man it's crazy super expensive it's way too expensive like in now. the states like i was talking to some people in the states and like i tell them it's 90 bucks like that's crazy. like it's 60 here and i was like yeah because of the taxes and yeah. the tariffs and everything yeah we're getting fucked mm-hmm. not just not just our own country our prime minister is a fucking loser already but because of the tariffs we're getting right fucked mm-hmm. especially here where we are probably we'll able to vote in the next election coming up is october yeah, go vote. I'm not a. I don't believe in the voting system, but I still vote. If that makes sense. And I don't be, like. I, I'm one of those people that it's like, well, there's no point, but I still do it because. I don't know. Some maybe some guilt in me that's like there have been people and there are people that can't, and so like, it's kind of like, um, like you should. Like, well, it's one of those things that like. I like say like if you like what well, people say not just me like I didn't create this but if you don't vote like you don't have the right to bitch about like who's in charge absolutely which is but it's also I, like, I agree with that actually I really agree with it because you even a vote is kind of like a skin in the game mm-hmm. right yeah but we're in big business class we're looking at all this like political shit and like we had a presentation today and for the last election when Trudeau was getting elected uh, kids who are 18 to like 22, that age range, mm-hmm. I think in 2011, it was like 23% of those eligible voted or it was 30 something, 32% voted. And then in 2015, it was like 50% voted oh, wow. because of the marijuana thing. That's what we assumed. Gotcha. So it'd be interesting to see how much higher that goes now, because I don't think he really has anything to like buy those votes in a way. Yeah. His whole, um, what is it, his box water thing or whatever he's. Our guy's an idiot. If you're in the States, just look up uh, Trudeau and water or something. I don't know. Just look at anything he says. It's such, it's such cringeworthy stuff. This is a guy that in public said, oh, we actually like to say people kind, which I mentioned last week. Uh, you weren't here last week. Question. Uh, and I'm not going to get into it like I did last week. Is X-Men to you Xavier's men or for me, or is it um, human and X-Men because of the X gene? I'm just really curious as to what your classification is. Like what, how how you see it? I've never thought about it that way. I'm not a big X Men guy. No. If I had to pick one, Xavier's Men or X, like I feel like Xavier's Men, I don't think really like kind of I wouldn't classify. I think it'd be the cross between like the X Men because they're kind of like that. Would you say it was a chromosome or some shit? Yeah. So the like difference the between humans yeah. and the 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 X Men is the X gene because like all people are considered men like they're like human you know, humankind exactly yeah, yeah, like human human men yeah well men that's and, like what yeah. i figured it's not like they're just men yeah exactly and i think that's where everyone's like really they they're not understanding the classifications because yeah it's just not how it works what do we have a minute 15 left they just, on need, the live to, they just show? need to shut the hell up and stop finding things to bitch about like and, well i think my only thing was this i bitched about it only because the producer reiterated as well and which goes to show that you guys don't know what you're doing like you don't know what products you have in here like you don't understand what you don't even know what the the x-men mean because you're just looking at it as it should be x-women it's like no that's that's not what it's there for it's not a gender specific title x-force i could see fine if you do it x-force they already did that though but but it has nothing to do with men or women that's the thing yeah but they gotta find a way to like i don't know just change everything because everything's so offensive nowadays no which is why as i'm emceeing I'm telling you, like, 
Uh, we have a toast to the boys, a toast to the girls, and a toast to the others, which are like the transgender LGBTQ. Do you have a lot of the school? Yeah, like we do, and that's fine. Like, you know, like I don't like really, it's fine to have them there. But I pleaded and I begged my teacher to change the name from others because I'm gonna get that so much terrible. flack. I'm gonna get so much flack for because there's no nice way to say it. I'm gonna sound super sarcastic and super like douchey saying it. And she will she's not changing it. They want to keep it as others too, which I don't understand why. Wait, the transgender yeah. kids? Oh, well, at that point, if they oh for everybody in the live, see you later. Arturo, I think, is the last man standing. Mm-hmm. I'll see you uh, next time, man. Uh, that's interesting because, yeah, for me, my thing is I would go up to them and be like, what would you like me to say? Because mm-hmm. I have a toast of the men, toast of the women. Do you want to be others? Well, I was going to say grads, the rest, like even the rest. Like if you want to go in that road, the rest sounds nicer than others. Yeah, but also you can just say our men are, 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 are male or female and our transgender students. That's all you have to say. But not all are transgender. That's the thing. It's like kind of like the LGBTQ community as a whole. Well, then you can say men, women, and LGBTQ uh, in our school, representatives of our school or something. I just told the other MC he's announcing it because yeah. I know if I say it, like my English teacher already like gets super offensive. Over, like she thinks I'm this big racist guy for some reason. I don't know why because I don't know. Because she doesn't have an argument for anything else. Just liberal teachers, man. But I don't it's know. It's not even liberal, actually. Liberal would be a, a, a understanding way of doing it. She's on the other side. She's she's a little left of liberal by the sounds of it. But it's just like one of those things where it's like I refuse to say it because I know that if I say it, I'm going to get shit. Because I was even mentioning it in class and some kid overheard me and he mm-hmm. got mad at me because he thought I was making fun. I'm like, no, that is what they fucking asked to be called. Mm-hmm. And he found it super too. He's like, why? Because it just sounds so alienating. So was this was this person that got mad a male, a female, or male. transgender? No, he's kind of a male. Just like I think he's, he's just a male. I think he might have been gay a couple like a year ago, but now he's a girlfriend and shit like that. So he's like, I don't know. He's figuring himself yeah. out, right? So at that point, it's like, well, you're not part of this, so why are you getting mad about it? Like, it, I don't know. It seems really. It seems like a question of just like anything else. What do you want me to call you? Like people ask me. Here's the basic form. This is how I operate. The basic form is this. My name is Gerasimos, mm-hmm. but people ask me, what else would what would you like me to call you? Mm-hmm. And I tell them, just call me G, it's easier. Yeah. Unless I like unless I put it forth. Like now, it's very different, my first name versus my uh, you know, going through a transformation or mm-hmm. being transgender. But I believe the rules should apply evenly throughout the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Right? Like Anthony, what would you like me to call you? Like, is there anything you like that you'd prefer? Or you'd say, Hey, I'd actually prefer you call me A mm-hmm. for whatever reason, right? So I don't know. It's They've kind of put you in a tough spot. Exactly. Just very uncomfortable because like I like I don't want to. Like, it's my grad night, right? I don't want to say anything that's like it's gonna ruin, ruin someone's grad that they think about for like the next five years. What yep. something I say. So like I straight up because I got Nick to write the intro for me because I like had He's no really idea how to that. do it. And he did it like really respectfully, really nice. He's good at it. And I'm not adding any jokes because, again, like I just feel like anything I say will be taken really out of context. And there's just no nice way to kind of like. And it's you just also, like, you, when when you speak, it's very sarcastic. It's no, it, even if you're being serious, it sounds sarcastic. Exactly. So yeah, you can. I've had those tricky spots where people get mad at me, like you know, yeah. man. Like I was at a meeting, I said, okay, like why did you call us here today? And they got mad at me, like you no, know, I was just genuinely asking, like yeah. why did you call us here today? It's your cadence. Yeah, I understand that. It's just one of those ways. I'm just the way I am. I'm just always in that speaking position, but and that's why, like, I don't want to ruin anyone's grad. So it's like a lot of pressure, but I think I did the right way. I think it's good. I think Again, it's good best way, always ask. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with asking. It's better to ask than to assume. They'll get to see the script tomorrow. Mm. Like the teacher will. So, well, the good. the PG script. The, yeah, for sure. Well, and the other one is not really that bad either. It's oh, actually no. quite interesting. It's it's funny. Well, there's actually this, there's this one joke where, because our principal hides in the stalls to like catch vapors. And I like, because I was saying like, yeah, I'm trying to get Has back to the any? game. Oh, yeah. Actual people. Oh, Are they you vaping there all the time. Rape? Or vape. Sorry, vape. Holy okay. shit. No, fuck. Holy fuck. I was like, what the fuck's going on in your school, no. dude? <laughs> yeah, no, vape. They I'm do gonna, not I'm rape. I'm play that back and not now, obviously. I'm going to try to hear if you actually said rape or is I might have. I have <laughs> just no Just picturing idea. your principal <laughs> yeah. sitting on the toilet and then whipping open the door. Are you raping? It's like, no, I'm washing my hands. <laughs> But no, that's pretty much how it is. Like, he'll wear Nike shoes and sit in the stalls. So people can't see it. And I made a joke saying, like, I'm trying to get back in the game. So we've all heard of NBC's Dateline, right? And my co host like, oh, no. I'm like, so we all know, like, there's rumors of him hiding in the stalls to catch vapor. So yeah. I'm going to call it CT's Vapors. To catch a vapor. Yeah. Like, to catch a predator. And that's, that's a that'd be a good one. See? And it's just, I was going to call it to catch a predator and, like, instead of Dateline. But people said, maybe it's not a smart idea to compare the principal to a 
pedophile show. So I'm like, okay, that's smart. That's fair points. That's, that's a good point. So Dateline is more safe because people will understand what it is, but they won't they make understand that connection. The context. Mm-hmm. Yeah, holy shit. For a second, I'm like, what the fuck is happening in your know. school? Like, and why is this not being told everywhere? That is a terrible problem to have that your principal's hiding in the bathroom. <laughs> or he's just paranoid as fuck about everything. Yeah, no. Jesus. Fuck. Jesus, man. That would be such a story. That would be just a brutal story. But it's they would awful, burn man. the school down. I they would f- burn the school down. They fucking vape in those things. And there's always these fire alarms. It's like, go the fuck outside. Yeah. I'm in the middle of preparing for a presentation. We're just grinding and then fire alarm. It's like, fuck off. Go somewhere. Don't yeah. do it in the bathroom. Straight into the fire alarm. Jesus. Some people just don't understand what's going on around them. No. I am sometimes one of those people. So the conversation we had about the females... Like, is it just you're actively avoiding relationships right now? Because well, I was like, I was just focusing on myself for the longest time, just like kind of like doing sure. my own thing. And like now, like with like prom date was one of those things. Where I was like, okay, like I got to like get down, like figure this shit out. Mm-hmm. And then like, it was just a super complicated story. And it's just women are fucking complicated. Like, fuck me. I kind of met someone who's like my level two where like, I'm like a really like prideful and arrogant guy who's like really like stuck up sometimes mm-hmm. and i met someone just like that and i realized how fucking annoying it is and i apologize <laughs> i was like you know what just like fuck <laughs> off for one second it's kind of like a mirror being put up to you mm-hmm. yeah um i kind of met i went out before Sophie and i got married there was a girl i was dating this was years and years ago and like she was very different than any other girlfriend i had and she was super outgoing and stuff but then I realize I'm like, here, this is not like this. This was fun for the first couple of weeks, but it's getting way out of hand. Like, mm-hmm. it, it was just like, you would be great if I was in high school. Like, it would be amazing. But it was like that side of me that I, that I used to be. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I fucking used to be like that. Yeah, no. She's she's a wonderful, wonderful person, mm-hmm. super talented person. But just when she just loves to party. And oh, yeah, no. at that point, I was done. Those like those days were yeah. done. That's really interesting. Mm-hmm. Got really introspective with this person. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Now you got to find somebody that uh, compliments you. As Sophie always says, compliment, not supplement. Mm-hmm. Okay. What else you got? I have no idea. So that was our half ass somewhat E3 coverage. Half uh, E3, half, half random E3. Yeah. TV show. This reviews. is our second year covering E3 because the first year yes. we did it, um, we had that table over there. We were sitting over on that other oh, side. Yes. We had no set. It was the simple days of starting audio, which we should have just started. We should have just kept going with audio, but I'm fine with it now. Excuse me. There's a burp coming, and it's gone. All right. Thank you so much, everybody who's listened to another episode of The F Word. Whether you're listening to us on Anchor, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, CastBox, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Podbean, Radio Public, or YouTube, we just appreciate it. Uh, very, very, very much. And if you are in an outlet where you can like uh, or comment or anything like that, tell us what your favorite games were of E3 that have been announced. Um, tell us some of your games in general. Are you an Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, PC person, or anything of the like? And um, uh, yeah, if you want to like and all that stuff, you can leave comments. If you're able to, that's great. If you don't feel like it, then it's all good. I am G. It's your boy, Big. No facts. And we are out. Wait, EA style. We are out. It's in the game. Wait, is that copyright thing? Shit. Oh, yeah, fuck. Now another thing's worn down. (laughs) 